Since the entry into sanctions era restrictions in 2022, the fate of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, a regional airliner that relied heavily on Franco-Russian cooperation for its SAM 146 engine, has been one of the most closely watched issues in Russian civil aviation. Observers worried that the loss of foreign spare parts, technical support, and joint servicing would soon leave many aircraft grounded. In practice, a sustained effort by Russian industry and regulators has allowed the pre-2022 Superjet fleet to remain in service while a longer-term remotorization program advances. The SAM-146 was born as a bi-national product. The hot core, including the high-pressure compressor, combustion chamber, and high-pressure turbine, was designed by the French partner Safran. The Russian company UEC Saturn in Rybinsk produced the cold section, the fan and low-pressure turbine, and performed final assembly. This setup created an efficient turbofan for regional jets, but it left the fleet vulnerable once cross-border cooperation and spare parts flows were disrupted. Before the suspension of the joint venture, several hundred SAM-146 engines had been produced and had accumulated millions of flight hours. From 2022 onward, the problem of sustaining airworthiness for engines with imported components moved from a technical curiosity to a matter of national importance. Russian manufacturers and maintenance organizations turned to what they call import substitution. This meant redesigning, certifying, and producing replacement parts and repair processes that no longer relied on foreign suppliers. The work included component redesign, localized production of consumables, modular and component-level repairs of electronic systems, extended life certification of parts, and scaling up repair capacity across several UEC facilities. One clear outcome has been the rapid growth in in-country repairs and replacement parts. UEC Saturn in Rabinsk reported the development of alternative spark plugs and fuel filters, delivering thousands of such units to operators. Engineers there say they have developed repairs for 10 critical items and introduced more than 70 design changes to standard components. Since 2022, UEC Saturn has completed more than 150 M146 engine repairs, with dozens more in 2025 alone, a steady pace that has kept many aircraft in service. Beyond simple parts, the electronic systems of the SAM 146 have posed one of the hardest challenges. Modern turbofan engines depend on control units that contain microchips and complex electronics, many of which had limited domestic sources. To solve this, Russian firms, especially UEC Star in Perm working with UEC Saturn, created modular repair processes for the SAM 146 control unit. They are now moving from module replacement to true component level repair which means diagnosing and replacing individual chips, transistors, and diodes. This requires test equipment, precise diagnostics, and regulatory approval. Demonstrations of new test stands and workflows have been shown to airlines to prove the method works. Testing and simulation have been central to this progress. At UEC Star and Perm, new equipment, including software benches developed with airframe engineers, allows full system emulation of the superjet systems. One tool, described as an electronic bird, can simulate aircraft system behavior so that control software and hardware can be validated without flight tests. These capabilities speed up validation of replacement parts and lower the risk of using non-original hardware. Regulatory work has kept pace. Certification of repair processes alternative part designs, and extended life for major components has been necessary before operators could rely on them in regular service. UEC Saturn reported certification that increased the assigned life of several engine parts, adding roughly 2,000 flight cycles. This gives airlines more time between heavy maintenance and eases pressure while remotorization or fleet renewal progresses. These efforts have not solved every problem. The hot section of this SAM-146, once the French partner's domain, remains the hardest to fully master. Analysts warn that as engines age, the fleet will face heavier maintenance demands. 
Forecasts suggested that without full domestic overhaul capability or large-scale remotorization, the fleet could shrink. Still, steady progress in repairs, consumables, and electronics has delayed the worst-case scenarios. Alongside keeping existing SAM-146 in service, Russia has followed a two-track strategy. First, sustain the current fleet through import substituted maintenance. Second, develop a fully domestic engine, the PD-8, as the future power plant for a remotorized superjet. Testing and certification of the PD-8 are underway, and the goal is to free the program from international supply chain risks. Achieving production and certification for widespread retrofit is a large project, but it remains the key objective. In practical terms, domestic repairs, thousands of consumables, extended life parts, and new test facilities have allowed Russian carriers to keep many SSJ-100s flying on local routes. Industry sources emphasize that the effort has been cooperative. Engine makers, airframe engineers, airlines, and regulators have all worked together. Success has been organizational as much as technical, building supply chains, repair standards, and skilled staff to support complex engine work. Looking ahead, the balance of risk depends on several factors. How many SAM-146s will reach the end of their extended service life before PD-8 retrofits arrive? Whether domestic production of parts and repairs can scale further? And whether certification for both repair procedures and new engines keeps pace? For now, dozens of engines have been repaired in country, thousands of parts delivered, and weak points in the supply chain addressed. This has turned an acute crisis into a structured technical program. In summary, the continued operation of the Superjet with SAM-146 engines has not come from one breakthrough. Instead, it is the result of many efforts, local part production, electronics repair, new testing systems, regulatory approvals, and development of a domestic replacement engine. The program shows how an aviation ecosystem can mobilize its resources under pressure. Whether that resilience will last as the fleet grows older remains uncertain, but for now, the Superjet fleet continues flying thanks to determined adaptation and national effort. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.